sudden he sensed that you guys as a receiving core were kind of getting a little antsy <laughs> over the past few weeks. So mm-hmm. I guess, one, how good did it feel for the everybody on the receiving core to make some plays? And two, is that the kind of performance you think that can spur this team on to bigger and better things? I mean, that performance was incredible. I mean, everybody got touches, whether they scored or not. Um, and, and it felt great, especially after nine weeks. <clears throat> um, you had that kind of preparation. And then uh, just that that amount of big plays we had, it, it does fuel the team and it does spur that moment. And it also just kind of gives us a little edge for next week to know what we can do. So. Shay, talk about Arizona State's defense a little bit and what, kind, what you've seen from them so far. Uh, they're a physical team. Corners are young, but they're still good. Um, the backers are probably, to me, they're one of the bigger backers that we've seen. And uh, I mean, their defense is well coached. And I feel it'll be a good matchup between our offense and their defense. What do you think about playing down at ASU? Does it give you guys, I think you've been down there twice in your career, is that right? I think once. Mm-hmm. Sophomore year. Yeah, just once. Uh, I mean, I would say it, it. I mean, every place is difficult, especially being on the road. Um, but I mean, we're looking for that first win there, so it, it'll be incredible to get that. Shay, you mentioned Montez's ability to spread the ball out mm-hmm. uh, against Cal. Did you see that coming going into that game, based on the preparation, or did things just seem to click like you guys had hoped they would all season? I mean, we always expect it to happen, whether it happens or not. Um, but with the preparation we had this week with Coach Mack separating that battle that he had. Uh, you kind of saw started from Monday that he was he was ready to go. In a year where not only you guys but many teams across the Pac-12 <coughs> college football have been inconsistent or consistently inconsistent, yeah. How does this team bottle the consistency that you achieved on Saturday and bring it to the table for the next three weeks? I mean that that just goes in today and yesterday. It goes into not getting, um, you could say. Just staying level-headed, kind of. Um, you don't want to get too hyped, but you also don't want to get back to that low point that we had. And uh, just keeping that consistency of the offensive level and the defensive level also. Going into the year, obviously a lot of high expectations for this receivers group as a, mm-hmm. as a whole with all the talent and experience you guys brought back. What's kind of been your way of coping through some of the tougher times this year, you know, when, when it hasn't clicked <coughs> like it did on Saturday? In what ways were you able to stay level-headed, like you mentioned? Uh, I mean, just get back to the drawing board. Whether we had a good game or bad game, we put that in the past, get ready for the next game. And uh, just talking to the receivers, I mean, I know from experience, we, we kind of just brush it off, get ready for the next game. And then the offense as a whole, we kind of just get back to the drawing board, like I said, and uh, practice, practice, and just keep repetition going. Actually, I know that this last game was the first of the gold games. Mm-hmm. It was something that McIntyre started last year, correct? Yeah. Can you talk about just how the players – respond to the gold games? Do you feel like there's a, a different sense of urgency, a different focus when you get to the gold games? Uh, yeah, especially when, I mean, you have a record like we did, four and four. You need two to get to the bowl game, but those the gold games is where you want to win all of them. Like Coach Max says, the last four are what they remember. They don't remember the first eight, uh, first seven, but the last four is where you make that statement in the Pac-12. So, so Shay, three weeks ago, Cal beats Washington State 37 to 3. Mm-hmm. Then two weeks ago, Washington State beat you guys 28 nothing. And then you beat Cal 44 to 28. Yeah. I can't wrap my mind around that. Can you? Uh, I mean, no. That's just. I mean, Pac-12 is a tough conference. It <laughs> sometimes the cookie crumbles the way it does, and it just happened to go like that. So. Maybe it's a part of it being the gold games, but. This week, it really seems like everybody's locked in and focused to that one week at a time mentality. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that mentality shift after a big win like that? Yeah, um, I'm, I, I seen it last week. Everybody was in tune. Everybody knew what the game plan was. Everybody knew their assignments. I mean, and it showed on Saturday. I mean, hopefully, we can keep it going. Anything else for Scott? <laughs> so, do you think that performance maybe served as a reminder to this team what it is capable of? I mean, I'm pretty sure it serves as a reminder to everybody. I mean, we we know what we can do. It's just a matter of coming down to execution. And we executed probably the best we have all year. And that just comes as keep it going. Best Halloween outfit in your life? Um, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you that one. 
Can't tell you. <coughs> mm-hmm. 